Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. Today's video, if you are a Patreon, is brought to you by you. This is a pre-order and another amazing addition to the Morpheus Descends collection. We have the horror of the truth for the first time on 12 inches of wax, to my knowledge. And I'm going off Metal Encyclopedia, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. And it says it was originally recorded in 1995, but on Metal Encyclopedia it says it was released in 1997 originally on CD. Now, I don't know those, if those dates are right, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Because these three tracks right here are just absolutely amazing. Begging for Possession, Valley of Undead War, and The Horror of the Truth. And this bad boy was originally recorded in 1995 at Front Street Studios in Cleveland, Ohio. Recorded and engineered by Brian Secula, Real Transfers by Kean Media, New Jersey. Remixed and mastered at Bloodborne Studios, New York by Sam Inverza. Copyright Morpheus Descends, 1995, 2024. And the vinyl color, it's going to be hard to get, but... Now, when it comes to Morpheus Descends, they started as Morpheus. And yes, this is a new reissue as well. This was originally uh, a 7 inch, and then there's a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but extra material and stuff. Uh, Pre release, some track from uh, the demo, 1993 demo. Two, two 1990 rehearsal tracks and Corpse Under, Gra Corpse Under Glass live in 2013. That's awesome. Corpse Under Glass is probably my favorite like Morpheus Descends track, which is on Ritual of Infinity, another Dark Descent Crypt collab. Ridiculous reissue. All of these are so well done. They look great. They sound great. If there's any left, do not sleep on these reissues. Like right now, I don't know how many copies are left of the Morpheus demo. I mean, the Morpheus stuff and the Morpheus Descend stuff. Because also you have Chronicles of the Shattered Ones. Great EP. Again, some of the best Morpheus Descend... Like, uh, uh, everything Morpheus Descends does is like legitimately amazing. And when they were Morpheus, yeah, amazing. Such a, I love that cover. Well, I love that artwork. Memorable logo. You know it. I, I, I would think you know it. If you're in the death metal and you're like, huh, I've never seen that before. You have some catching up to do when it comes to East Coast 90s death metal of the highest caliber. Morpheus Descends, especially, like, all the releases, but this bad boy right here is a real special one. For many reasons, but I'll be going over this a separate day. That's 
I gotta jump over there in a moment, but I could still show you. I love Crypt slash Dark December reissues and Crypt reissues. Like, my Molested reissue is amazing. It sounds great, looks great, and that's like pre Borknar. It, it's gnar. Like, it, it's so good. But let me get back to the horror of the truth. Because, again, like, with Morpheus Descends, though, to me, you need. Rituals of Infinity. Ritual of Infinity. I always call it Ritual. Ritual of Infinity. This is just essential in my opinion. And this is something I've been after for a minute because I don't like CDs. So here's what... Now, you see how it's like purple or blue I'm kind of colorblind now check this out but it like oh wait how was I doing it yeah if you like hold it a certain way like there's still like the red on it but it like gets a little I can't do it now but this one's so cool like I think it I forget what it was labeled as, like, it was, like, A slash B, and I didn't know what that meant, but now I do, like, each side is a different color, like, that's the red, that's, like, blue, I don't know, I just thought that it was sick as fuck, so, just wanted to show it off real quick, and this is what we're blasting, the horror of the truth, uh, yeah, I forgot this has an unreleased track of uh, Shatan the Unborn on the B-side. Let's throw that bad boy on. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. I apologize. Because I was thinking, I was like, wait, like, uh, why is there only lyrics for... And then I, I remember, I was like, oh... A doy. I can't blame the edible today, though. I just got done band practice, though, so I am tired. But, yeah, they don't have lyrics for the unreleased track. That's why I was thinking, I was like, wait, like maybe it's, it's instrumental, but no. It's just bad ass. And that's Morpheus Descends for you. It's meat and potatoes. New York fucking death metal. I mean, but it's on its own level, in my opinion. I always feel like Morpheus Descends kind of gets the short end of the stick. Like, there's a reason this is on the crypt. Because this is underground and awesome. Although, I wouldn't say, like, Morpheus Descends is slept on. Like, the last 7-inch they did on Dark Descent, I, that thing is awesome. I, I don't own it anymore, but I used to, I was obsessed with that release. I actually, I, I stepped on it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I, I, like, legitimately stepped on it, and I was like... But... We are the spawn of ancient gods. The horror of the truth. So sick. Cover artwork by uh, KD Mathinson, courtesy of Dark Art Parlor. Very Giger esque. I actually used to think that was a Giger design. For a long, long time, honestly. Doesn't that look, like don't in the comments? Doesn't that look like a Giger piece? And don't be a smart ass and be like, no. 
Don't you know HRD? That looks like something eager would paint. But begging for possession, Valley of Undead War, the horror of the truth. We have a bonus track as well, which title I'll have to look again because I forget. But just heavy, crushing, New York fucking meat and potatoes death metal. Like, this is the death metal that death metal fans listen to. You know what I mean? Like, this is death metal for fans of death metal. There's no bullshit. It's just exactly what you want from a death metal release. So we have Tom Stevens on vocals and guitar. Rob Yench on guitar, Andy Newton on bass, and Sam Inverza on drums. And Sam is the one that remastered and remixed this stuff. I'm actually surprised it was not sent to Dan Lowndes. Uh, hold on a second, just because I'm curious. Wait, let me check the inside. Because this is 1992. I'm not, I, I, Morpheus Descends, fucking rule. R.I.P. Jeff Reamer as well. And here's the bonus track. Oh, there's so many sick New York bands. Like, if you have a copy of Ritual of Infinity, yo, you have one of the sickest thank you lists in extreme music. Like, you could just sit here and, yeah, enjoy. Just go through that list. And, like, that Brad Moore cover, look at that. This is death fucking metal, and that's Morpheus Descent. Just top shelf death metal on every release I have. I've never heard a Morpheus Descent track where I'm like, eh, no. They're all just ridiculous. And even when they were Morpheus, like I said, like, this reissue, having the bonus material, it's badass. 1991, and R.I.P. Jeff Reamer. And some tracks have Craig Campbell on vocals. Whoa, that's that Cannibal Corp shirt I have. That's kind of sick. I have that Eaten Back to Life shirt. I have that Suffocation. That's the original in Jesus Wept design. I have that Obituary shirt. I don't have that Morpheus shirt, and I don't have that Morgoth shirt. Yes, I'm a fucking nerd, I know. I, I guess this is the instrumental. I haven't heard any vocals yet. I listened to it last night, but I was <laughs> I was kind of out of it. But um, yeah, great reissue. You get the bonus track, but the EP is where it's at. Just getting some bonus riffs and stuff is sick. Anytime you get a bonus track, it's cool. Just unreleased track, uh, Shatan the Unborn. I don't know how I missed that. I apologize. I mean, I don't know how I missed that it was instrumental. I just, I could have swore there were vocals, but I was wrong. So I do apologize. Again, brain injuries suck. But they happen, and there's nothing you can do about it when they happen. 
He's even as I was wearing a helmet and I'm still, you know, dealing with it. But just legitimately, if you're gonna start pick okay, I'm not gonna lie, these are like twenty five dollars. And you might be like, wait, why would you pay twenty five dollars for like three songs? Well, that's why I'm like, listen to me here. This is absolutely essential listening. A hundred percent. You 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 need to listen to this if you're a fan of New York death metal in any way, shape, or form. Like seriously. This is some poser disposing death metal. Like, legitimately. I'm not just throwing that word around. Like, total meat and potatoes. If you're a fan of, like, Baphomet, yeah, you already, you already love this. And you don't even know yet. But, yeah. Like, early... New York death metal rules. Because, like, it's not all mortician and, and, like, you know, stuff with, like, breakdowns. Like, there's some real sick, just straightforward death fucking metal. And it's always, like, just has such a sick style to it. Like, even going to, uh, like, upstate New York with, like, early Cannibal, and just because it's right in front of me, early Skinless, like, especially the Swollen Heaps demo, which is, like, my favorite Skinless material, as well as Progression Towards Evil. Got to play with Skinless when I was in Skeleton Proof Tanks. I'm still very happy I got to live that because it was just one of those, like, things that I just wanted to do. But essential stuff from Morpheus slash Morpheus Descends. And uh, let's check out everybody here and whatnot. Oh, no, no, because this is all I, it would be out of order. This is already going on a little bit too long. I apologize. But just so you do not get confused, um, like there's a couple, tri like if you pick this up, there's asterisks, and asterisks will tell you who does vocals on the bonus tracks and stuff. Because uh, you have Jeff Reamer on. Uh, like, the pre-release... Oh, wait, no, pre-release double. Wait. Okay, so that has... Ken on vocals. Corpse Under Glass live in 2013 has Craig Campbell on vocals. And I guess Craig Campbell is on... Yeah, lyrics by Craig Campbell... Recorded and mixed April 1991 at Legend Studios, Long Island, New York. I should have, like, my brother, when he moved to Long Island, he picked up that Long Island accent. And I just thought it was the coolest accent ever. Like, just like, <laughs> hey, Adam, you fucking peck ahead. Like, call me you peck ahead. It just, I, I miss R.I.P. Marty. Sick, sick guy. But, uh, yeah, Long Island kind of is in my, my blood. Like, I have, like, there's a whole clan of Schnellenbox up there that I barely get to see. And they're they're great people. Lynn, uh, Carly, Leanna, Marty, Marty Jr., great guy. He's like a doctor, man. He's He's got it together. Uh, Leanna, like, I'm glad my brother, like, he got burned over, like, 70% of his body when he was in 10th grade and uh, they gave him this medicine and he was pretty much on borrowed time but he lived until he was in his 50s it's a bummer but uh, I just 
I know it's corny, but I just have this like weird connection whenever like like with like after after birth. A lot of Long Island death metal just I don't know, like, even when I talk to like Will and stuff, like I just I, I feel like just this I feel like I'm kind of talking to my brother cuz he has that accent and like I don't know, whenever I talk to Will, we bust balls and it's just it's fucking fun. Like I, I love Will. I'm talking Big Will, ex artificial brain. He's just he's the man. Like if you ever if you ever get to see uh like reeking or uh afterbirth, go up and see Will. Uh, Bioletch. Oh, wait, I, I don't I don't know. I know he's like starting like a straight up brutal like death metal band. But I don't remember their name, but uh. Yeah, Morpheus Descends, The Horror of the Truth, Essential Listening. If you are a fan, like I said, not only of New York death metal, just death metal, period. But when it comes to Morpheus Descends releases, in order of importance, the Morpheus, like, stuff, obviously... But you got to get the full length. One of the few bands where the full length is... Wow. Like, Jeff Reamer's vocals. I, I love how heavy this record is. And I, I'm pretty sure it's Jeff on Shadow, uh, Shadow as well. Yeah, vocals Jeff Reamer. Dedicated in memoriam Matt Sicker from Mortician. Yeah, like, just super sick. And this was mixed by Morpheus Descends and Mike Deming. Mastered at Steve Watias Productions. Sick. Like, just that, look at that art. It's so gnarly. Like, this is another, like, these two and the straight-up Morpheus reissues are 100% essential, but, like, come on. You gotta invite the horror of the truth to the party. Why not? Like, is it my favorite Morpheus Descends material? No. But it's still, like, a thousand times better than everything else, for the most part. But, like, when it comes to Morpheus Descends, I always, like, as much as I love Chronicles of the Shadowed Ones, like, Ritual of Infinity, whenever I listen to it, I'm just like, holy shit. Like, wow. I, I think this was out of print for a while, too. And the the crypt and um, dark descent just took care of it and got this beast reissued, and they sound great. They look great, just like all the crypt releases. Like I cannot recommend these enough, especially Ritual of Infinity. Chronicles of the Shadowed Ones. The Horror of the Truth. And Adiopoxure. Which is Morpheus. Morpheus Descends. The same band. But look at that artwork. Like I said. Death Metal for fans of Death Metal. And it's straight up poser disposing shit. This stuff rules. But again, if you're going to grab any of the Morpheus Descends reissues, this would be the last one I would buy. Honestly. It's just, compared to everything else, this is just... It's still, like I said, amazing, but it's no Ritual of Infinity. It's no Chronicles, but it's still, like I said, 
just absolutely punishing Long Island based New York fucking death metal. It rules. So, Infernal Hails to the Patreon, Dark Descent Records, and the Crypt, Ted Crypt, for giving a shit enough to do these types of reissues. Like, there's a Transgressor, Ether for Scapegoat coming up, Morgue, uh, Eroded, uh, er Eroded Thoughts on Vinyl. There's so much sick shit coming out from the Crypt and Dark Descent. So if you are not familiar with the Crypt and Dark Descent, like they did the Time Ghoul reissues, Cyanide, The Dying Truth, A Descent in the Hell. They have so much good shit, but right now... Morpheus Descends, The Horror of the Truth, really good death metal. We are the spawn of ancient gods, but like I said, it's just probably, it's just there, compared to everything else, it's just not as gnarly. That's all. It, it, it's still good, it's just, I'd rather listen to Ritual, and obviously, yeah, but you can't go wrong with Morpheus Descends, like, again, th these aren't bad songs, I'm just saying, it it's pretty expensive, so just keep that in mind, like, again, these are Patreon picks, I love mini LPs and stuff like that, especially on 12-inch, so, like, Adding the extra tracks and taking this from a 7-inch to a 12-inch, I think is awesome. Some people, oh, it's a waste of vinyl, it's a waste of money. Frig off. I love this shit, and I'm sorry. Morpheus Descends slash Morpheus. Get into it. Thanks for watching, as always, you fucking rule. Leave the Matrix, Matrix jokes at home. This was years before the Matrix. Infernal hails and gratitude. Peace and hails. <laughs>